Hi there guys, Johnny Rose here and welcome to my full Biz Suite AI demo. You're going to get a full one hour demo, so you'd better get comfortable. We're going to go all the way through what's inside Biz Suite AI, which is this incredible new tool from Eric Holman. Now, this is a wonderful software. You're going to see it in action uh, and which you can check out for yourself through the link down below. Now, you're going to be here for a full hour. Hopefully you don't need to take an entire hour to understand how powerful this tool is. But if at any time you want to pick it up, there is a link down below in the description box. Please keep this in your head and remember, don't click around and get confused. There is a link down below in the description box that you can click to come through to the Biz Suite uh, land sales page yourself um, and pick it up. Now you're going to get a massive discount. You will be able to pick up Biz Suite for the cheapest possible price, awesomely, when you click the link down below. So if you want to save money before you make money with Biz Suite AI, click the link down below. Keep that in your head as you're watching the demo. Second of all, if you do decide to pick up BizSuite AI, I'm actually throwing in an exclusive bonus, which you'll only get if you get it through my link below. I'm actually gonna give you one of my own products if you decide to get BizSuite AI. Just as like a little sweetener. Now, frankly, BizSuite AI, which is this incredible tool, which as you're gonna see in a moment, has 80, maybe it's 100 at this point, I mean, it's like an hour go through, but at least 80 different tools inside of it that you can use to make money with, right? Now there are six apps, but inside of those apps are a subset of tools. There are about 80 different functions, each of which that you can use to make money. However, I'm adding in one of my own products that you're gonna get. I've created a product, it's a bestseller called the Chat GPT Alternative. This is my product. You will receive it for free, it's basically an alternative to ChatGPT that you can use to create artwork. You can create books with it and sell it on Amazon. People are selling books on Amazon with it. You can use it to generate content, you know, landing page content, write content for emails, write real estate listings, SEO optimized video descriptions, all that you can, everything you can imagine. It does AI artwork. It writes high performing ads for Facebook and Quora and TikTok. It writes YouTube scripts. Anyway, my point is you will receive this for free in the back end of BizSuite AI, this is my product and you will only get this product, ChatGPT Alternative, when you click my link below after you watch or during watching this BizSuite AI demo, you'll be able to click the link below and pick it up for the cheapest possible price. So jump in now, you're gonna get a, a well stick around, you're gonna get a full, <laughs> full one hour demo, right? So I mean, good luck to you, it's gonna take a long time to get through it, but this is a very powerful toolkit and hopefully it really excites you what you can do with it. Remember, when you're ready, click the link below and pick up BizSuite AI to get your bonus. Thank you. When you log into BizSuite AI, you will see a dashboard which will link you to the six individual apps. You'll also have a bonuses tab. So the six individual apps are right here. You've got content and scripts, voiceovers, increased conversions, optimized website, cloud storage, bio links, and QR codes. We're gonna go ahead and just go through each of those in order, starting with content and scripts. When you click that, it'll open up a new tab and you'll see a dashboard for content and scripts. The first thing I wanna point out is that you can set up projects here. So if you have your own projects or if you're doing projects for clients, you can sort of keep them separate. Basically, these are like folders so that you can organize all of the work that you do in this application. To create content, we have a couple of different ways to do it. You can click on the templates tab. And from here, you essentially have these buttons. So it's like a dashboard full of buttons for each of the different tools within this application. And you have something like 37 tools here to work with, a whole bunch of stuff. The other way to do it would be to click on AI documents, generate a new document, and you'll have a drop down here with those same 37 tools. So you can see if I select one of these, it will change the input options depending on what type of content we're creating. See what I'm doing here? Depending on which tool we select, it will adjust the inputs right on this page. So it's two different ways of getting to the same thing essentially, either the templates or the create AI document feature. So let's go through these templates in order, starting with summarize. I did a little Googling to find a niche that's hot right now, but maybe is a little underrepresented. And the one that I came up with is solar energy. So I'm gonna use that niche for throughout this demonstration. So to find some text to summarize, I'm just gonna jump over to Wikipedia for solar energy. 
And this first section is kind of short. I want to give it a little more of a challenge. Let's go with this second section that is about the potential of solar energy. Let's grab all of this text. I'm going to skip this little table right there. I'm going to paste that in. And then I'm going to come back and get the rest of this entire section. It looks extremely scientific. I mean, you can see all sorts of facts and figures throughout this section. So definitely something that would be nice to summarize. You do have some advanced setting options like creativity level. Now, since this is just a summary of scientific data, I don't want it to be necessarily creative. I'm going to leave it at the optimal setting. You can also create multiple variants if you want to, but I'm going to leave it at one. And if you want to uh, have a maximum number of words, for example, if you want this to be, say, a maximum of 200 words, but no more, you could put that in there. But I'm just going to leave it blank because I find that that usually gives an optimal length. And we'll click Create. And you can see here in a matter of seconds, it turned this huge chunk of very scientific uh, data full of numbers and all kinds of stuff into a very readable, very understandable one paragraph summary. Perfect. We could then click one button to copy it to the clipboard and use it for whatever it is that we wanted to use it for. Going back to templates, the next one is explain like I am five. I'm just going to stick with the solar energy name. And this time, maybe let's grab this first section up here where it just simply talks about what solar energy is. Because even this is a very complex and very scientific detailed explanation way too detailed and, and complicated for a five-year-old. So we'll paste that here. I'll leave the settings alone and click Create. And in just a few seconds, it gave us a great short paragraph that yes, I think a five-year-old could understand. Solar energy is energy that comes from the sun and can be used to make electricity or heat water. There are different ways to capture and use solar energy, like using special panels or designing buildings to face the sun. Using solar energy is good for the environment because it doesn't cause pollution and it can help reduce global warming. It's a good way to make countries more. So you can see it's very simple to understand. It took something that was very complicated, full of words like photovoltaic systems and turned it into something that a five-year-old could understand. Let's move on to the next template, which is the text spinner or rewriter. Once again, I'm going to stick with solar energy. Since I already have it on the clipboard, I'll paste that same Wikipedia section about solar energy. This time, perhaps let's make it a little more highly creative. Let's let the AI take a little more liberty with this rewrite, and we'll click Create. And because it is a scientific article, obviously they couldn't get too crazy with that creativity, but I can see just browsing through that it is a little more creative than the Wikipedia article, and definitely it is completely rewritten. Going back to the templates, we'll take a look at the keyword generator. We'll stick with the same theme of solar energy, and you know what? I'm going to go ahead and paste that exact same chunk of text that I just had on my clipboard. That first section from Wikipedia. Let's click Create and see what keywords it comes up with. Sure enough, the top keyword is solar energy, followed by radiant light, heat, sun, harnessed, solar power, generate electricity, and so on. These are great keywords that we would want to focus on if we were doing either SEO or if we were doing paid advertising. Going back to templates, let's check out the next one, the grammar fixer. Let's stick with the same theme, and I'm going to paste that exact same paragraph, or a couple of paragraphs from Wikipedia, and see if it fixes anything. And I can see really what it did was a very gentle rewrite to make it more understandable, while obviously fixing any grammatical issues. Going back to templates again, let's look at text to emoji. This should be interesting, sticking with the solar energy theme. I don't think we'd want to convert this entire chunk of text. But what if we just take that first sentence? And I have no idea what it's going to do with this. Solar energy is radiant light and heat from the sun that is harnessed using a range of technologies such as solar power to generate electricity. <laughs> Let's see what it comes up with. Well, here it is. It is a series of emojis that really does equal this sentence. I can see exactly what it did. Solar energy radiant heat from the sun harnessed so equaling the technology solar power grit yep i can see what it did that's pretty neat 
I'm not sure if this example would be extremely applicable in the business world, but certainly if you were gonna put something on social media, this would be a cool tool to figure out some emojis to include. Going back to the templates, let's check out blog article idea. Sticking with solar energy, how about my keywords will be, heck, let's just go with solar energy and click create. Keep it simple and see what the AI comes up with. And you can see from those two simple words, it came up with 10 great blog post ideas. Any one of these 10 ideas would be a great post. For example, the benefits of residential solar energy, why you should consider going solar. Going back to the templates, the next one is blog article intro. So we'll keep with solar energy, and for the title of the blog article, I'm simply gonna paste the exact title that I copied from the previous step, and we'll click create. And here we go, a great introduction for a blog post. Going back to the templates, the next tool will create the idea and outline. So we'll stick with solar energy. And you know what, I'm just gonna paste that exact same title that I used in the previous template and let the AI do the rest. And you can see in this case, from that one title, it gave me a nine part outline. A huge shortcut, whether you're writing your own blog post, outsourcing it, or letting AI do the rest. Going back to templates, the next one will create a blog article section. So we've got solar energy. For the title, I'm gonna select part one of that nine part outline that it just gave me. And although it seems a little lazy for the keywords, I'm actually just gonna post that same exact title and click create. And as you can see, it gave me a very substantial blog post section. In fact, this alone is almost the length of an entire blog post. But by using this tool, you could create very in-depth, epic content. Going back to the templates, the next tool is actually a simple blog article generator. Sticking with solar energy, I'll go with the same title that it came up with for me before. I'm gonna keep it simple for keywords. I'm just gonna say solar energy. And for sections, I could actually copy and paste that nine part outline that it gave me previously and click create. And again, I'm just skipping over the advanced settings here to save time on this demonstration. Here we go. And you can see this one tool alone just wrote an epic level article for me. Nine complete sections all at once. And I can copy it to my clipboard with one click. Going back to the templates, we also have the blog outro generator. Sticking with the theme, I'll go with the same title. And for the description, I'm simply gonna paste in the intro that it previously generated for me for this exact title. So instead of having to write a description myself, I'm just gonna paste the intro, let it do all the work, and click Create. And now we have an intro and an outro. As you can see, it begins with in conclusion, and it wraps it up in a very nice, concise manner. Going back to templates, we can also generate product reviews. Let's stick with solar energy. This time I'm gonna jump over to the ClickBank marketplace and let's search for solar energy. And there are some solar energy related products on here. I'm gonna click this first one. It says portable solar energy system. Looks like it's called Smart Solar Box. That's the name of the product. It's got a video sales letter. I was actually hoping for a full sales letter so I could grab some text. What if we click on affiliates? Here maybe we can find some, yeah, some emails that would give us some content. So in my review generator for the product name, I'm gonna paste that product name, Smart Solar Box. And then what if I just grab one of these emails just to give it some interesting content? We'll just paste that email in as the description and click Create. There we go, a review for Smart Solar Box. Now, if I were an affiliate of this product, which I simply could be over here on the ClickBank Marketplace, I can take that review and I could post it on social media or post it on my blog along with my affiliate link to earn commissions. Going back to templates, the last tool in this section is Translate. Stick with Solar Energy. Suppose I wanted to translate that little review that was just created for me. And so instead of English, maybe I want to get traffic in another language and tap into this niche in various languages. Maybe German, that's a language that I don't know personally. Let's click Create. Now I've got that content in German. 
And by the way, the ClickBank Marketplace has products in many different languages like German, French, Spanish, and Portuguese. So we've got opportunities to earn commissions in various international markets. Once again, going back to templates, the next section are website tools, starting with the website headline. Well, let's stick with solar energy. And let's suppose we want to uh, create a page or a website to promote this product that we were just looking at. Maybe I'll just keep that same content that was on my clipboard from this email. I'll paste that in as the description. And then again, the product name is Smart Solar Box. So I'll paste that in as the product name and click Create. And check it out, it came up with a great headline for me. Revolutionize your energy bills with the Smart Solar Box. Unlimited energy for less than 80 cents a day. Really, that's about as good as a headline as I could have come up with. Going back to templates, the next one is SEO title. We'll stick with solar energy. And let's say for keywords, let's say solar energy, solar panels, electricity bill, solar panel installation company, and create. And would you look at that? It came up with a perfect page title for those keywords. Reduce your electricity bill with solar energy. Choose a professional solar panel installation company. See, it's got all those keywords packed right into that title. Going back to the templates, our next one is the SEO description. Stick with the theme. And for the text, how about we take that same little email that we've used a couple of times now as content and click create. There you go. Nice and concise. They even threw in some hashtags. Going back to the templates, let's generate some SEO keywords. Stick with solar energy. And a couple of ways we could do this. I could paste in one of those chunks of text that we've been working with before, or I could keep it simple and just type the word solar energy and see if it actually extrapolates upon that basic keyword. Let's try that way. And sure enough, it was able to extrapolate relevant keywords just from solar energy. We now have renewable energy, solar panels, solar power, clean energy, sustainable energy, photovoltaic, solar technology, solar installation, and solar industry. We can copy that to the clipboard with one click. Going back to templates, we can then come up with an ad title. Stick with solar energy. And then what if I were to simply paste those exact keywords that it just gave me from the previous tool? So it's not a sentence, it's nothing that's an actual legible statement, it's just keywords with commas in between them. Let's see if we can give us a title from that. Sure enough, go solar and save money, install photovoltaic panels today. A nice concise ad headline. Going back to templates, we can also generate an ad description. So for the text, I don't want to write an entire description myself, I want the AI to do that, so what if I simply paste that short little headline that it just gave me and then rely on the AI to extrapolate upon that. Great job, AI. <laughs> Looking to save money on your energy bills? Go solar. Installing photovoltaic panels is a smart investment that'll pay off in the long run. Not only will you save money on your monthly electricity bills, but you'll also be doing your part to help the environment. So why wait? Make the switch to solar today and start reaping the benefits. You know, my son was actually telling me just how profitable this industry is. He knows some guys that are salespeople for a solar panel company, and they make up to a million dollars a year personally uh, by going door to door selling solar panels. We can copy that with one click and then go back to templates. Our next section is social media. We'll start with social media bio, stick with our theme. And for the keywords, I'm simply going to paste those keywords that the AI already came up with for us and click create. Hi there, I'm passionate about sustainable energy and the positive impact it can have on our planet as a solar energy enthusiast, blah, blah, blah. All right, perfect. That's exactly what we want. And so you can see how you could be doing work for a client in any industry and you could be setting up their social media, you could be doing SEO campaigns, you could be doing all these things just with this one tool. And we haven't, we barely even tapped into uh, the full power and potential of BizSuite AI. We're just looking at one section of it so far. Going back to templates, we'll grab some social media hashtags. Same topic. And for the text, I'm gonna use that same email 
that we had grabbed for that product that we were looking at on ClickBank because maybe I would want to promote that on social media. Click create. Sure enough, it came up with perfect hashtags for that promotion. Going back to templates, the next one is video ideas. Same theme. And I'm just going to grab one of the titles, once again, that the AI already came up with for me and click create. And just from that one title, it came up with eight great ideas for me to create a video in this niche or a series of videos. I can copy those to the clipboard with one click. Going back to templates, let's go down to video description. Same topic. And for the title or keywords, I'm actually going to simply grab the second bullet point from the previous tool where it was giving me some ideas and click create. Perfect description. This video showcases the numerous benefits of solar energy. By switching to solar power, you can significantly lower your electricity bills and so on. Going back to the templates again, our next one is the tweet generator. Same topic. And again, I kind of like the idea of using that little prom promo email that we swiped because I might also want to promote that product on Twitter. Let's click create. So it took that nice promotional email and turned it into a tweet length tweet along with a couple of applicable hashtags. Perfect. Going back to templates, we can also create an Instagram caption. Same thing. I'll recycle that same little email text one more time for another promotion. This one would be on Instagram and click create. And you can see it's just a little bit different angle than the Twitter one. Similar, right? It reduced it to a social media length post along with some hashtags, but it is unique. Going back to templates, we're now down to the next section, which starts with name generator. This could be like a product or company name. Still dealing with solar energy. For keywords, I'm simply going to paste that short list of keywords that the AI previously came up with for me and click create. Have you noticed that I'm really not coming up with anything on my own yet? All I've done literally is just type the word solar energy and then copy and paste from a couple different sources. And these are 10 great name ideas. Solar Max, Renew Gen, Sun Power Tech, Clean Eco Solar, Sustain Power, Photovoltia, Sol Tech Pro, Solar Ease, and so on. And if I didn't like any of those, I could simply run it again. Going back to templates, we can also get startup ideas in that same niche. And I'll paste the exact same keywords and click create. And it actually gives us 10 business ideas to actually make money in this industry, starting with, you know, perhaps the most obvious solar panel installation and maintenance services for residential and commercial clients. But there's also a bunch of other related businesses in the solar power industry. Going back to templates, we then have viral ideas. Same topic, same exact keywords, and we'll click create. And this is a really neat viral idea. They actually came up with a, an idea to create a social media challenge called Solar Switch. It's like having your own marketing agency right at your fingertips here. You know, a client can pay you $10,000 to come up with a campaign like this and you can come up with it in uh, five seconds with BizSuite AI. Going back to templates, we are now down to custom prompt. So this is particularly helpful if you use any other AI tools like ChatGPT or any image generators. So suppose I wanted to create a prompt to generate an image. And just sticking with the same theme, let's just say my prompt is, I want it to create a prompt for an AI image generator to create a beautiful photo of a solar panel. Let's generate that. So I can then simply copy and paste this into any image generator and it'll give me good results. You can see here, generate a visually stunning image of a solar panel in a natural setting with vibrant colors in a clear blue sky. The solar panel should be the focal point of the image, showcasing its sleek design and clean energy capabilities. Enhance the photo with a warm and inviting glow to convey the benefits of renewable energy. That's a really good prompt. In fact, let's just do a quick little bonus here. Let's copy this, jump over to something like the Stable Diffusion Playground, and just uh, generate an image based on that prompt and see if it actually works. Sure enough, it gave me some great results. Jumping on back to the templates,
scrolling all the way down, we are now down to the developer tools, starting with PHP snippet. So one thing that I typically like to use PHP for is little redirects. So I'll call this one redirect. And I, I want a code that will just simply redirect the browser to my website, Eric's Tips. And let's create the code. Here it is. It's actually a very simple code. And yes, I can see that is the correct code for it. Going back to templates, the next one is SQL query code. And I don't really have anything that I need to do with SQL right now, but let's just say something that finds the largest number in a column. Let's grab the code for that just to see if it works. And sure enough, in fact, it also gives us a sentence explaining it. Perfect. Going back to templates, let's grab a JS snippet. I'll call this one timer because I happen to know that uh, JavaScript is a good code language to create countdown timers. So let's just say code that creates a countdown timer to midnight on December 24th, 2023 and create that. And sure enough, here's the JS snippet that creates a countdown timer to midnight on that exact time and date right here. Perfect. I mean, this is a piece of code that a lot of people actually charge for. They sell countdown codes just like this. Going back to templates, the next one is HTML snippet. So we'll just call this one HTML. And how about something more than just a tiny snippet? How about an actual HTML code that generates a lead capture page with a headline, four bullet points, and an email opt-in form? Nothing too crazy, but you know, just a basic uh, squeeze page. Let's click Create. And you can see here, it says here is a HTML snippet for a lead capture page with a headline, four bullet points, and an email opt-in form. And it looks good to me. They actually used uh, some CSS uh, styling, which is cool too. Just a very basic template, which we can then use as the basis of a landing page. Going back to templates, scrolling down, we've got also the option to create a CSS snippet. Let's see, I'll call this one font and just something real basic, some code that makes a large red Arial font. This should be pretty easy. Yep, sure enough, it's got it right there. And by large, it interpreted that as 36 pixels. Of course, I could adjust that to whatever size I wanted to. Going back to the templates, I think there's just one more. Yes, the Python snippet. Call it Python, and I don't know Python myself, but I do know that it's good for math stuff. So let's just ask for some code to calculate the area of a triangle and click Create. And here we go. In fact, it's pretty confident because it says, sure, here's a Python snippet to calculate the area of a triangle right there. So I believe that was all 37 of the tools on this part of the dashboard. So jumping back, our next one is voiceovers. So if we click voiceovers, it's going to open it in a new tab. And if it's your first time using it, it'll say there are no created AI synthesis. That's basically just the word it's using for voiceovers. So let's generate an AI synthesis. And maybe I'll do something again in the solar energy niche. And maybe I'll just grab a little bit of text from one of the blog post snippets that was already created for me by the AI. We can choose from many different languages. We can choose from many different voices. And we also have some advanced settings. Let's see, I will go with Matthew. I actually don't think I've used him before. So this will be a good test. And click Create. And that literally took one second. So let's listen what that sounds like. As the world becomes more environmentally conscious, residential solar energy is gaining popularity as a clean and renewable source of power. All right, I think there was just a little glitch in my speaker on that first word environmentally. Let me double check that. As the world becomes more environmentally conscious, residential. Yeah, so I could hear it clearly that time. That was just my speaker. Okay, yeah, sounds great, Matthew. And uh, of course, you can have him say anything you want him to say and then save it to any project. Um, really, that's the gist of the text to speech engine. Obviously, you know, kind of the sky's the limit of what you can use it for. So, one quick example would be I mentioned that the ClickBank Marketplace has products and offers in many different languages. So, I could jump over to the ClickBank Marketplace. Um, let's see, I could just view all offers and then I could narrow it down by language. Let's see, there's 38 offers in German right now. All right, for example, the German version of Truth About Abs. That's a best selling fitness related product, and this is it in German. And they even have an affiliate page. 
And so there's a couple different ways I could do that. If I actually could find a promotion in German, I could just bring that right over and have uh, it rendered in the German language, or I could find an English pr uh, language promotion and then use our other tool to convert it to German first and then bring it over and have it read that. So let's just say, right, this is not a promotion, but this is just talking about the product, but just to see how it works, let's grab a little bit of this. Let's just grab this first little paragraph right here, bring it over, and we're gonna create a new voiceover. We'll just call this German, and here's the text. And so for languages, I'm gonna select German. We could actually select German German or Austrian German. We'll go with German German. And I don't know whose voice is the best, so we'll just stick with this first one for now and click Create. Now let's see what she sounds like. All right, so even though I don't speak a lick of German, I could promote products in German and earn commissions on them from German customers. And I could do that using a variety of marketing means. For example, I could create voiceovers here that which I could then use to create YouTube videos and send traffic directly to my affiliate link from there. So you've got lots of possibilities with the voiceover engine. All right, going back to the main dashboard. So we've looked at content and scripts. We've looked at voiceovers. Next is what we call increase conversions. And if we click on that, it opens up another dashboard, which is called the engage dashboard. This is absolutely one of my favorite components of BizSuite AI because it's really just something that can boost your conversions, your profits, your leads, all of that. It's very easy to use. It's also something that clients will love. And I'll just show you a little bit what it's about. So first, what we wanna do is create a new campaign. So we click Create Campaign. And I'm gonna create one for my old blog site as a demo. It's called Eric's Tips. I don't use it much anymore. But I've had it for many years, and so it does still get uh, some decent traffic. So we'll go ahead and click Create. The next thing I need to do is actually install the Pixel on my site. It's actually very easy to do. As it says here, just install it inside the head, so inside the header of your website. If you're using WordPress, that's actually very easy to do because you can install it in your entire site all at once because you can install it in the header file, or you could actually use a plugin that allows you to inject code into your header. There's a couple of different ways you can easily add this to a WordPress site. If you've got an HTML site, then it would simply be a matter of opening up those HTML files in a text editor or an HTML editor and pasting this code into the header. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this pixel. I'm gonna go over to my website. As you can see, I actually haven't posted here in a long time. Like I said, don't use this site very much anymore, but it does still get a fair amount of traffic. And I'm gonna log in to the WordPress admin panel. I'm gonna to go to Appearance and Theme Editor. And then I'm gonna to go to where it says header, theme header, so header.php. And I'm gonna look for the head. So here's the head, here's the close head. So right before the close head tag, I'm simply gonna do a control V to paste that pixel code. And then I'm going to click update file. And doing that, just put that pixel onto every page of my website. So I've got that done, I can close that. Now I can go in and edit this campaign and start setting stuff up. So I'm gonna click where it says Eric's Tips, and I'm gonna create what's called a notification, and there are different types of notifications. Notifications are just the word that are used in this app for these various types of tools, okay? And we've got different types of tools, like informational tool, which is basically just any kind of advertisement that you wanna put on your page. In fact, I'll, I'll use that as an example. You can also do coupons. Oh, and also, if you just click it, you'll see an example down in the bottom right corner of your screen. So here's informational. Coupon, here's an example of a coupon. Right, so really nice coupon. And what's gonna happen is when you create these, it'll pop up on the screen of the website where you want it to pop up. So wherever you put that pixel code, that's where this will pop up. Uh, Live counter, okay, that's a really nice tool. Latest conversion. Now, guys, this is actual, I'll, I'll show you some examples of this as we get into it, but this actually does count conversions. So this is a tool that, you know, you could easily be paying $20 a month just for this. You've probably seen this on people's sales pages before because it's a great conversion booster. It creates that social proof. Same thing with conversions counter, right? Those create social proof and many of those services charge, you know, $20 a month at least just for that one little thing. And here you're getting it as a part of BizSuite AI and you have, uh, you know, complete access to it on an ongoing basis. You can also display reviews, 
emoji you can do an emoji feedback so do you like our website you've got a scale of basically one to five emojis a cookie notification so if you're uh, either if you're in a country where you want to make sure that's displayed or if you just like to do that and you can do that um, you can also collect any requests so it's basically like a little mini chat if you have any questions if your visitor has any questions they can enter them here along with a phone number or you can do it with an email address to collect leads as well as a countdown collector so lots of great tools here so I'm going to show you the basic informational one right here so it's actually very customizable I'm going to click create and I'm going to create a small ad for one of my other products called the AI children's book maker so if I'm, going to, I'm going to call that AI CBM and for the title of the message let's say have you seen my newest AI tool and we'll say description create children's books in just minutes and then for the image URL, so we actually have a hint on here, icons8.com has a good library of small icons that you can use. And what we've found is that you can actually just hot link directly to them. So I just found an icon over there that looks like a, it's a book, so it'll work with this little ad. And then where it says notification URL, that's simply the link of where you want to send people from this ad. So that's all it's gonna be. And then you can either open in the same tab or a new tab. So I'll just open in a new tab. So that way people stay on my website and it opens this ad in a new tab. And I will click update. Uh, the other thing, so here's, here's what it looks like, by the way. So you've got a preview right here. Here's what it looks like. Have you seen my new AI tool? Create children's books in just minutes. It's got this little icon that I found on icons8.com. Triggers, you can trigger on all pages or on certain pages. You can also delay it. So maybe I want it to pop up after someone's been surfing a page for 10 seconds. I can put 10. For now, I'll just say two seconds. And then you can either display it all the time or once per visit session or once per browser. And then you can choose whether you want to display that on small screens or large screens or both. And then you also have, so let's go ahead and update that. Then you also have some display options. You can display it for say, forever you can set it to minus one to display it forever or you can display it for a certain amount of seconds say I want to display it for 15 seconds and then if they don't click it after 15 seconds it's just gonna disappear that way it's not an annoyance to my visitors and then you can pick where on the screen do you want it to be basically anywhere on the screen top left top center top right middle bottom blah 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 so let's go bottom right for this ad and then do we want to be able to close it I'm gonna say yes We'll have an option to close it and then branding yes or no I'm gonna say no so if you say yes then you can also have universal branding on there and you can actually put your own uh, brand name in there as well as well as a brand link and then where it says customize we can actually customize the look and color of it we can add different title colors description colors so maybe I want to make this title something that matches this icon a little more maybe like a green color we could also change the background color if we wanted to. We could also make a background pattern. We can change the border radius, the border width. So maybe instead of having kind of no border on here, maybe I want to give it a little bit of a border, maybe a fat border to make it really kind of pop out a couple of pixels. You can also choose animation options and we'll update that. As you can see, it says notification settings were updated and are now live. The last thing I need to do is hit this little toggle button to actually turn this campaign on. Okay, so I change the status to on. Now if I go back to my dashboards, I should be able to see that yes, the status of this one, Eric's Tips, is on. Now if I go back to my website, Eric's Tips, and refresh the page, two seconds and the ad popped right up. See that? And if I scroll, the ad stays there. Now if I click this ad, what's gonna happen? It opens up that sales page that I linked to in a new tab. But the visitor also has the option to close this ad and make it disappear. And again, because of the settings that I chose, I can make that ad appear on every single page of my site. Pretty cool, right? You've got this dashboard and you can put these ads on as many sites as you want. So going back to that campaign, I could also create another notification, perhaps a different one. Instead of just that informational advertisement, perhaps I wanted to create a coupon. I could go to create coupon. And once again, we have all kinds of different options for this coupon. Going back to campaign, maybe we create another one. Let's say latest conversion. Click create. And there are actually different types of conversions that you could track. It could be sales conversions or it could be maybe subscriptions to your newsletter. Again, different triggering options, display options, 
customizations of how it looks. Now here's what you have to do if you actually want it to trigger based on real conversions is implement this feature and use either the webhook and or the auto capture data feature. So it's not just that it's gonna be someone from England, it'll actually be populated with the information of your real customer. As you can see here, it says you can insert dynamic variables from your conversion data. Examples, if you have field full name, you can use it as full name. If you have country, you can insert the country dynamically. So maybe someone from Australia, someone from the USA, someone from Singapore, someone from Japan. Pretty cool, right? Again, this is something that most companies charge a monthly subscription for, and you're getting it. Going back to create another notification, another one I really love is the countdown collector because that creates urgency, fear of missing out with a countdown timer and an input for lead generation. So I think you can see that this suite of tools is incredibly valuable and will boost your conversions for sales and leads. Plus you can use it for your clients' websites and charge them money for it. Heck, you could be charging them a monthly fee. Speaking of charging your clients a monthly fee, our next tool is the Optimize Website tool. Let's open that in a new tab. As you can see here, the Optimize tool has a ton of individual functions on the dashboard. In fact, I think this has something like over 40 individual tools within it. Let's see how fast we can blaze through this for the demo. We've got the article rewriter. So let's say we wanted to grab this article off of Wikipedia. Let's paste it in and submit. And now we have something unique, original to us, that we can paste on our website without plagiarizing Wikipedia. The next one, speaking of plagiarism, is the plagiarism checker. So if we were to then paste that article from Wikipedia, the original one in there, and check it for plagiarism, it's gonna say that it's plagiarized, it already exists. All of this is not unique content because it's on Wikipedia and probably a bunch of other people have scraped it from Wikipedia too. So you can see zero of it was unique content, but we were able to turn it into unique content. All right, the next tool is the backlink maker. Yes, actually a backlink maker. It's pretty neat. So let's say I wanted to make some backlinks to my website that I'd mentioned before. Let's say I'll, I'll make backlinks to, let's just, we'll do my homepage for now. My Eric's Tips blog. And we'll click submit. See, there's a bunch of different sites out there that basically link to and monitor other websites. And so it's not like these are the most valuable backlinks, but still, if, it, if you have a new website or if you have a, a, a site that needs some backlinks, this is an easy way to get some free backlinks because it's actually, if these pages don't already exist. So for my website, it's been around a long time. So some of these might already exist, but some of them definitely probably don't. When it actually goes in pings these sites and attempts to visit these pages, these sites are actually gonna create these pages with backlinks to my site. Pretty cool, right? And so you're gonna create uh, 40, almost 50 backlinks in one go. And you can see it's just doing the work right now, going down success, 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 and it's gonna keep doing that through the entire list. Going back, the next one is the meta tag generator. And so let's see, let's just grab some of those ones that I had previously generated earlier in this demonstration. So stuff related to the solar energy, grab one of those titles. I'll grab one of those descriptions. I think I pasted, I think that actually wasn't a description. That might've been a blog intro, but it'll work. And then I'll paste one of those lists of keywords that it gave us. And then you've got some options here. If you want robots to index your site, if we're doing this, then we probably do want robots to index it. We're doing this because we want to get traffic. We want to improve our SEO. So we're going to say yes and yes. And let's say we want search engines to revisit this page every few days. Now we only want to do that if we're actually adding new content frequently, but let's just say we are adding new content frequently. Let's tell them to revisit the page after three days and generate meta tags. Here we go. So you can simply copy and paste this to use for your website. Next, let's go to Meta Tags Analyzer. And let's analyze the meta tags of my website, Eric's Tips. And here we go. It gives you an, an analysis. Now, this is something, again, you can easily do for clients. I mean, you could create a report for them and you know it makes it look like you did a whole ton of work, but really, our tool, Biz, Biz Suite AI, is doing the work for you. How about Keyword Position Checker? Uh, let's see, let's, uh, let's check this Wikipedia article that we looked up before. So we'll paste that in. 
And then the keyword that I want to check, let's see, let's look up solar. Let's just look one just to show you how it works. So solar energy, let's see if it's in the top 50 positions for solar energy. And so I'm not sure why it's not found in the top 50 for Google, but it is in 10th position on Yahoo. But if we were to look for some other keywords like maybe solar power, maybe it would be number one for solar power on Google. I don't know, but that's how it works. Going back to the next tool, robots.txt generator. Now this really has two purposes. Either one, you want robots to spider your site and find everything on it so they can get everything indexed on the search engine, or you wanna block those robots because maybe you don't want your site showing up on the search engine. Either way, this is useful. So you can either say they're allowed or they're refused. Now, if you have a sitemap already, you would actually wanna start with your sitemap. You can give individual instructions for each of these search robots. You can also have restricted directories if there are certain places that you don't want them to index. And then you can create the file. And this one's pretty basic because all we're doing is simply allowing them and we use the same defaults for every robot. But if we were to switch up some of these variables, then it's gonna give us more content for that file. Going back to the tools, we've got the XML sitemap generator. Again, let's use, eh, not the Wikipedia one, actually let's use my website this time. So we'll use Eric's tips. And let's say it's changed weekly. And how many pages do I need to crawl? So probably they would need to crawl, you know, a thousand or more on my page. I'm just gonna leave it at 50 for now just to generate it quickly so you can see how it works. Wow, well, I found it really fast. Maybe I should have had it be a bigger number, but it quickly spidered my site and found the first 50 links that it could find. And we can then save that as an XML file, upload it to our website, and then we actually have an XML site, site map, which helps with SEO. Going back to the dashboard, we'll check the word counter. Pretty basic, right? I mean, we can just copy some text like this article from Wikipedia, paste it in, and count words, 172 words right there. Next one, the online ping website tool. Now this is nice if you have a blog or a website that you update frequently and you wanna make sure that search engines and other places are, are seeing those updates. So here's my URL. Uh, now, in most WordPress sites, the standard feed URL is just forward slash feed. So I'm going to submit that. And you can see what it's doing. It's going through and pinging a whole bunch of servers that keep track of this stuff. And so what they're doing, all of these websites are going and checking my site to see if it has new content. I mean, essentially what I'm doing right now is telling these sites that I have new content, even though I don't. I'm just showing you an example. But if you do have new content, this is a great thing to do to make sure that that content gets out there. Next up is the link analyzer. So let's go ahead and analyze that same link, my website. See, uh, it's showing 50 links, 47 internal links. All right, so I think those are mainly just links inside the current website. The next one is my IP address. Now, if I click that, what it's gonna do is actually show, well, I'll just click it and then maybe I'll blur it because what it's gonna do is actually show you my IP that I'm on right now on my home internet. Just an interesting tool. Next, we've got the keyword density checker. And suppose I want to compete with Wikipedia for solar energy in the search engines. I wanna be able to meet or do better than their keyword density on this page. So I'm gonna enter the URL of that Wikipedia article. And you can see the exact formula, not that they did this specifically because it was formulaic, they did it organically based on how people wrote these pieces of content but that page has the word solar on it 272 times, which is 4.53% of that page. So if I'm trying to compete for the word solar energy with Wikipedia, I know that I need probably some massive content. I need a whole lot of content on that page so that I can justify having a whole bunch of instances of some of these words and then not a ridiculous percentage, right? I don't wanna have like 10% or 20% because that's gonna look like I might be spammy and keyword stuffing but I wanna be something similar to what they've got because they obviously have a good formula and Google likes them. Again, these are all great services that you can provide for clients and get paid for it. Next, we've got a Google malware checker. I can check my website, see if there's any Google malware on there. And thank goodness, no unsafe content was found. Next, we've got the domain age checker. Like I mentioned, I've had this domain for quite a while and it is confirmed 18 years and 106 days I've had this domain. So going on 19 years. 
Then we've got the who is checker, and I'm not afraid to do this because I believe I've got this one private. Yep, it's got the private stuff on it, private registration on that particular domain. But if you're trying to find the owner of a domain to maybe do link swaps or whatever, or ask them to create a link to your site, this is a good way to try to find that contact info. And we've got the domain into IP. This will show you the actual IP address of my website. So the IP where it's being hosted, there it is. Next up is the URL rewriting tool. And for this one, it would be if you have like a dynamic URL. Now, like on my WordPress site, I'm already using rewriting. I'm not, I'm actually, I don't have the dynamic URLs, but if you did have dynamic URLs, this tool can actually rewrite them into a permanent URL. Then we've got the redirect checker. So if I just enter this, it should come up and say it's not a redirect. So yeah, it says it's good. And then we have the URL encoder or decoder. Now this URL, let's see the Wikipedia URL, it's not really encoded. So it's not really gonna do much here. Anyway, if you see something like that where it's got a bunch of like little percentage signs and things like that, and it's hard to figure out what that URL is, you can come here and then decode it. Going back, we have the server status checker and you can actually do up to a hundred at a time. So let's check the server status of this Wikipedia article and you can see the response time very fast and it is online. But in case you're ever, you know, not sure if a site is up or not, you're not sure if it's just you, you know, your browser, your ISP, whatever, you can come here and check it. Next, we have a web page screen resolution simulator. Let's see, I'm going to put my own website into this one. And you can view it at many different screen resolutions, starting way tiny, like 160 pixels, super tiny. So you can see my website, eh, doesn't look great at that size. If we jump up to say 640 by 480, it should look okay. Yeah, it's, it's usable at that size. You can see my, my little advertisement here that I created in this demo is showing up even here in this preview. Or we could jump up to a bigger monitor, 1600 by 1200. And we see, looks great at that size. Next tool is the page size checker. Again, let's check my website. And the page size is 51,402 bytes, which is about 50 kilobytes. It's not too big, in other words. You want something that's not too terribly big because you want it to load fast for SEO purposes. Next, we have the blacklist lookup. I don't think I'm blacklisted right now, but let's see. I actually send out hundreds of thousands of emails per month using this domain as the email address. But I have been using it for many years, so hopefully it's okay at this time. All right, and great news, it checked my domain and my IP on a whole bunch of spam databases and it is not listed, so we are good. The next tool is the suspicious domain checker. We'll, we'll check my domain on that one too, hopefully it's not suspicious. Yes, it is a safe site. Next up is the link price calculator. And this is basically just gives you a ballpark figure of what you might expect to pay for a backlink on a site. And so it thinks that, uh, you know, maybe if I were selling backlinks, it would be $60. And we'll go back to the next one. We've got the domain hosting checker. If you want to see where something is hosted, this one is actually not available, but it does show you the IP address. Next, we've got the source code of the web page. Let's see, just Retrieve any web page source code with a click. Next, we've got the Google index checker. Let's see if I'm in the Google index. And yes, we have 233 pages of my website in the Google index. Next up is the website links count checker. Again, we'll use my website, 50 links. And the next one is gonna be the class C IP checker. You can check up to 40 domains all at once, but here's my class C domain or class C IP address. Again, that's helpful for SEO purposes, especially if you're building a, a network of links. And we've got the online MD5 uh, hash generator, uh, which is essentially an encryption tool. So let's just say I wanted to encrypt, you know, let's just say it was my social security number, right? So this isn't it, I'm just typing some random numbers, but let's just say I wanted to encrypt that string of numbers. I could do so, I could actually turn that string of numbers or whatever the text is into what's called an MD5 hash, which can then be only decoded through the MD5 as well. Next up, we have the code to text ratio checker. Let's check my website. We've got code to text ratio of 11.8%. Sounds pretty good to me. 
Next up is the DNS record checker. Use my website again. DNS, of course, stands for Domain Name Server. And you can actually see the IPs and names of my name servers. Again, that can be helpful um, mainly kind of for sleuthing purposes. Like if you're trying to track down the owner of a website, sometimes that can be helpful. How about what is my browser? Sure enough, Chrome, there's the version, and I'm on Windows. How about email privacy? Let's check my website and see what it says here for email privacy. No email found. How about the Google Cache Checker? So let's do my website and let's do the Wikipedia article that we've been looking at. So you can see Google more frequently looks at the Wikipedia article. See, they looked at my website a couple of days prior to when they most recently looked at that Wikipedia article and cached it. And cached it sort of means like they saved a copy of it. Let's go back to the tools. We're getting there. Broken links finder. Let's see if it finds any broken links on my website. I feel like I've cleaned it up at some point in the past, but who knows right now. And you can see status code 200, okay. It's got a bunch of good links. I don't see any bad links, so that's good. Again, these are great services to run for your clients. And of course, on your own websites too. We've got the Search Engine Spider Simulator to run it on my website. And this kind of shows you what the Search Engine Spider sees when it goes to my website. It shows you the meta title that they see, the meta description, the keywords, uh, the tags. What are the H1 tags? What are the H2 tags, etc. What are the indexable links? What is the readable text content on the particular URL that I gave them? And then what is the source code of that page? Again, important stuff for SEO. Going back, we've got the keyword suggestion tool. Let's see what this one says for solar energy. Gives us 10 great potential keywords for solar energy. We could then perhaps take one of these keywords and drill down further. And last but not least, we've got the page speed insights checker. All right, and I scored a 77, which I think that's out of 100. So, you know, not terrible, but there definitely also is room for improvement. You can see I scored a 100 in some of these areas, and then I got a low score on a couple things, like I got a three. So this would be an area where I could definitely improve my SEO. So this is also a great tool to use both for your own website as well as for your clients to help them improve their website. All right, so those were the massive collection of tools in our Optimize app. Going back to the main dashboard, the next one is cloud storage. What's really cool about this cloud storage app is that it really fulfills the same functions of other tools like Google Drive or Dropbox, but you're not having to pay for it every month or every year. So when you log in, you can actually just drag and drop files directly onto your screen. So here's a Word document. Maybe I want to store a copy of that in the cloud. That uploaded pretty quickly. Maybe I want to upload a video, an MP4 file. You can see the upload progress here. And now that one has appeared as well. Now, just like some of those tools that I mentioned, you can use this for sharing. So let's say I want to right click on one of these files. I can then manage people or I can get a shareable link. You can also make a copy of it. You can download it. You can rename it, all kinds of stuff. You can manage that file just like you would in any of those more famous, well-known apps. Now, if I click this folder icon up here, you can see that we can actually create new folders to keep our files organized. We also have what are called workspaces. And so workspaces are great for collaborations where you might invite your partners or an entire team to come collaborate on certain files and folders. And adding a new workspace is as simple as giving it a name and clicking create. Now when I go to view all files, we don't see any here because I just created a brand new workspace and I haven't added any files to that particular workspace yet. So as you can see, it's a very flexible cloud storage application that you can use for, you know, anything that you normally would use cloud storage for. Going back to the main dashboard, the last of the six apps is what we call BioLinks and QR codes. This application has a number of useful features in it, starting with link shortening. So let's click create link and we can select either BioLink or shorten URL. We'll select shorten URL. And let's just say we have a really long URL that we need to get to. Obviously this Wikipedia article isn't really very long, but we'll use it as an example anyway. You can then create a shorter URL. So I can create that shorter. I can just 
use a little the keyword solar here and make a short URL. You have some various options for it, protection, targeting, and etc. But look, if we click this very short link now that I just created, it's going to take us to the Wikipedia article. So that's great for masking affiliate links or just sending people to any sort of link that needs to be shortened. Going back to this dashboard, let's create link again, but this time we're going to create a bio link page. This is going to be very similar to Linktree if you've ever seen that before. So it's like a page that you might link to from your social media profiles. So it could be like a page that kind of contains links to all of your other stuff. Because you know, on most social media profiles, you can only have one link, right? So most people will link to their bio link page. And again, this is something that many companies are charging a monthly fee for or an annual fee for, and you're getting it here. You can select a custom alias. So let's just say solar energy, because maybe I'll use this to link from social profiles that I'm using to build an audience and promote social energy related stuff. So we'll go ahead and create that page. And then we can do a lot of things to customize this page and add content to it. So starting with just basic color customization, maybe for the solar energy niche, something like this orange would be a good color. And you can add your own icon if you want to. We do have a verification option that you can submit. And we do have a branding option. Let's just put in a fake company name for now. Super Solar. But I'll just put my own domain as the branding URL. And then the text color. You do have some SEO options as well. You can add a page title and a meta description. Some additional parameters, fonts. Let's maybe bump up the font a little. Protection options and advanced options. Then it's time to actually add the content to that page. To do that, we click where it says add block. And you can see here, we can have a bunch of different types of content that we can add. So let's just add a link to start out with. Maybe this would be an affiliate link. What was that product we were looking at before? Smart power for all. I'll just pretend that this is my affiliate link for now. And so for name, this is going to be what shows up, the text. So I could say something like get the smart solar box. Now that becomes a button on my page that goes to my affiliate link. I can also edit it, change the background color. Maybe because it's a solar box, maybe I want that background color to be yellow. Maybe I want there to be a border. Maybe I want to animate it. And maybe I want to open that link in a new tab. Let's go ahead and update those options. So you can see the animation, it popped in. Let's add another block. How about an image? Let's click choose file. Let's just see what I have in my downloads folder. How about a picture of the bundle shot for BizSuite AI? And then for the link, we'll actually just send it to BizSuite AI. So you can see now I've got that image and that could have been an image of anything. It could have been a picture of a person. It could have been myself. It could have been my business logo, anything. Let's see what other types of blocks. We could add a mail sign up to collect leads. We could add a SoundCloud link. We could add a Spotify link. Uh, let's do a YouTube video. Let's jump over to YouTube and search for solar energy. And we'll just pretend that maybe my own company has a video called How Do Solar Panels Work? Right, I'm just gonna grab the link. And now to something new. I'm just gonna grab the link for that video, jump back over, paste that link, and click Submit. And now you can see we also have the YouTube video on our page. Other types of blocks include Twitch, Vimeo, TikTok. But again, with the link, you can create custom links to absolutely anything you want. And of course, with the image, you can add images of anything you want. So very, very customizable. Now, if we want to go look at this page, I could click my link. Here it is. The other thing I should mention is that you can easily rearrange these. Suppose I want to put this YouTube video in the middle just drag and drop. And it's an instant change. I could go back to that page, refresh it, and now the YouTube video is in the middle. So if I click this button that says get the smart solar box, that's going to open up my affiliate link to promote that product. If I click this image, it's going to take me to BizSuite AI. So again, the sky's the limit here, and these are pages that you could absolutely create for your clients as well. Going back to the dashboard of this particular app, we do have one other feature that we need to look at. Well, first of all, you can look at all your stats. So you've got stats for all those pages and all those short links as well. 
But then if we click the little arrow in the top right corner, we also have the option to create tracking pixels as well as QR codes. Let me show you how easy it is to create a QR code. Just click the button and maybe I want to create a QR code for that ad, get the smart solar box. You've got all different types of QR codes you can make, text, URL, phone, email, WhatsApp, FaceTime, whatever. So this one will just be a simple URL QR code. And so it's going to go to this smart solar box website. So there's my URL. We can totally customize the look of it. Again, since it's smart solar, maybe I go with some sort of bright colors. You've got lots of options there. You've also got branding options. You can stick a logo on there and even make it whatever size you want. And then you can download it in any of these four popular file types, including the JPEG or PNG with the transparent background. So these are perfect for using in both online and offline advertising. So there you go. As you've seen, these six apps are even more than meets the eye. There are There is so much to them. Uh, we could really spend all day exploring them, but hopefully this demonstration has given you uh, a taste of the power of BizSuite AI and what it's going to do for you and your business.